Chapter 289 Second Layer Seal The topic has gone a bit far, so back to the field. The battle between Kang Chon and the Li family's supreme elder was getting more and more intense. This time Kang Chon had experience. He held a sword in his right hand and struck out a dominating fist with his left hand, killing the Li family's supreme elder with two attacks in one. The Li family's supreme elder instantly sensed trouble and his face was extremely grave. Whether it was Kang Chon's blade Dao cultivation or the power of the hegemony fist, both were extremely powerful. Especially after Kang Chon displayed the amplitude of Kang Chon's hegemony blood strongest. Battle state. These two attacks were strong to the extreme. The Li family's supreme elder instantly fell to huge threats. He was no longer relaxed. Instead, he had already taken out a treasure artifact grade lance and performed the Li family's family gun technique to deal with Kang Chon's strong attack. But treasure artifacts were also divided into strong and weak ones. Facing the bloody blade in Kang Chon's hand, a gaping hole appeared in the lance in the hands of the Li family's Taishong elder. With every impact, and gradually, he didn't dare to fight hard with Kang Chon. Ha he! Kang Chon laughed coldly in his heart. The blood knife in his hand was a king grade divine artifact, even though it had been sealed by the elder senior brother and could only exert the power of a medium grade treasure artifact now. The hardness of a king grade treasure artifact could not be sealed. Daring to fight against a king grade treasure artifact, what was that if not looking for death? The Lee family's eldest elder was doomed to tragedy. Furthermore, with Kang Chon's strength nowadays, he was completely able to fully utilize the power of a mid-grade treasure weapon. After all, he had already comprehended the will and was no different from an out-of-body stage powerhouse. Under the might of the medium-grade treasure weapon, each of Kang Chon's slashes were extremely powerful and even though the Li family's supreme elder was able to block them, he also felt a tremor in his inner mansion and suffered a considerable amount of injuries, and he wouldn't be able to stand it if it happened more than once. What a terrifying talent! He actually used his Yuanyin stage cultivation to fight against an outbreathing stage powerhouse, without losing, worthy of being an overlord. After not seeing him for ten years, he has already grown to such a level. He he, I'd say the Li family is going to be unlucky this time. Daring to house arrest the overlord's grandfather, they're asking for it. The crowd watching the battle were talking. Everyone was stunned by the strength that Kang Chon had displayed. To dare to fight against an outbreathing stage powerhouse with a Yuanying stage cultivation. How many people could be able to do that since the beginning of time? Undoubtedly, after this battle, the entire Great Tang Kingdom was going to boil and the hegemony king's prestige would once again rise to the peak. Worthy of being someone who possesses the Kang Chon hegemony blood, the legendary forbidden bloodline, the terrifying bloodline that caused the dark turmoil 10,000 years ago. Definitely one of the strongest bloodlines in this world. In the void, the great Tang country's lord stared at this scene in a daze, his heart incomparably emotional. Some time ago, the will of the elder of law enforcement had descended upon the great Tang country through the void, telling him to block all news of the crowning hegemony blood. Obviously, even in the heavenly Tao sect, Kang Chon's position was not to be underestimated, and many of the heavenly Tao sect's higher-ups were concerned about him. This old man is still really strong. High up in the air, Kang Chon's body was like lightning as he continuously attacked around the Li clan's elder supreme. Elder, his sword in his hand rising and falling, splitting the waves with unrivaled might. Similarly, the hegemony fist also erupted with its due glory, one of his fists resembling a purple sun, illuminating the entire sky. These attacks overwhelmed the Li family's supreme elder. Anyone else would have long been unable to withstand them. But with his overwhelming cultivation at the outbreathing stage, he was able to harden himself and not lose the battle. Kang Chon's face became more and more gloomy at this. The other party's cultivation was beyond his imagination. Not the kind of cultivator who had just stepped into the out-of-body stage. 
but a worldly powerhouse who had already reached the late out of body stage. Facing the Li family's supreme elder, Kang Chion began to feel the heavy pressure. This was the strongest opponent he had encountered so far, and it was also the toughest battle. The Li family's supreme elder didn't have much talent, but he had lived for nearly a thousand years, and his victory was due to his profound cultivation. Kang Chon was almost fighting across a large realm, which made it hard to believe that he could support himself up until now. Young man, your talent is indeed formidable, but you are after all one great realm away from the old man. After making a fuss for so long, you should be able to end your grandfather's matter. You and Bayer are both disciples of the heavily Dao sect, so I don't want to make it too ugly. The Li family's supreme elder shook Kang Chon back with a palm and said in a deep voice. Not only did Kang Chion feel the pressure, he also felt the pressure. Even though Kang Chion couldn't help him, he couldn't help Kang Chion either. The strength of this young man in front of him was beyond his imagination, and the gap between him and him was very limited. He didn't dare to guarantee that he would be able to defeat the other party. Therefore, he hoped that Kang Chion would be able to see the truth and didn't want to do any more tasteless fighting. But could Kang Chion allow it? The answer was no, only to see Kang Chion as a long whistle, slashing out with a blade, his body disappearing once again. It's this move again, this won't work on old me. The eyes of the Li clan's supreme elder narrowed, and he smiled coldly as he slapped the void behind him with great force, and boundless palm power erupted, raging and volatile. In the void behind him, Kang Chion came out with his sword horizontally, but what was surprising was that he did not attack the Li family's supreme elder, but instead raised his sword to block the Li family's supreme elder's strike. A. The Li clan's supreme elder clearly noticed this turn of events, and he frowned, not understanding in his mind why Kang Chion did this. Boom! Catching the Li family's supreme elder's palm hard, Kang Chion only defended and did not attack, so he was sent flying out by the powerful force, a wave of blood and chi rolling around in his body, almost spewing out a mouthful of blood. Brother, Xiao Jin, who was watching the battle below exclaimed in shock. He didn't understand why Kang Chion suddenly withdrew his hand. He didn't think that Kang Chion was being merciful, because for the Li family, Kang Chion would not show any mercy. What's going on here? Everyone was shocked, they also didn't understand why Kang Chion did this. Even the great Tang country's lord, who was hidden in the void, had a pensive look on his face. He didn't understand why Kang Chion suddenly stayed his hand. Sublime Chop Regardless of how surprised the crowd was, Kang Chion once again executed the Sublime Chop and his body disappeared. And when he reappeared, he was already behind the Li family's supreme elder. Young man, you're looking for death. Seeing this, the Li family's supreme elder lucked the vast true essence in his body and struck the most violent blow towards his back. Boom. Kang Chion still only defended, but not attacked this time. His body was shaken out by the powerful force. This time, he couldn't stand it any longer and spewed out a mouthful of blood in midair. When everyone saw this scene, their hearts were filled with doubt what was wrong with Kang Chion, including Little Gold, who was also confused. He really didn't understand why his brother was doing this. Could it be that Kang Chion had executed the Sublime Slash just to take a hard hit from the Li, family's supreme elder? Wasn't this a foolish act of seeking death? But was Kang Chion a stupid centaur? The answer was certainly no. The Li family's supreme elder was also puzzled as he frowned and said in a deep voice, Young man, you. Before his words fell, Kang Chon's body disappeared once again, and the crowd watching the battle became even more puzzled. It was obvious that Kang Chon was going to perform the sublime slash again. As expected, in the next moment, Kang Chon once again appeared behind the Li family's Taishong elder. But this move was already completely useless to the Li family's Taishong elder, who had long since prepared an attack and struck out at the Kang Chion behind him. Without the slightest surprise, Kang Chion was once again blown away.
Even with his treasure artifact level physical body, he couldn't help but suffer serious injuries after receiving the full force of an outbreathing stage powerhouses strike multiple times. Young man, you are looking for death. If you continue to fall around like this, you will surely die. The Li family's supreme elder coldly looked at Kang Chion far away. It wasn't that he didn't want to take the opportunity to kill Kang Chion, but he didn't dare to. So many people were watching. If Kang Chion died in his hands, then soon, the disciples of the Heavenly Tao sect's law enforcement lineage would kill him and would even implicate their Li family. Seeking death, old Piker, the one looking for death is yourself. Not far away, listening to the words of the Li family's supreme elder, Kang Chion slowly stood up as he wiped off the blood from the corner of his mouth and a blazing light shot out from his blade-like eyes. At the same time, the blood knife in his hand erupted with an incomparably blazing light. A heavenly murderous aura pierced through the clouds, and a terrifying blood light enveloped this space. You, the Lee family's supreme elder, instantly understood what was going on as he stared wide-eyed, his face filled with shock and horror, along with a touch of panic. What's going on? The aura of that bloody blade seems to have become stronger. The crowd watching the battle still didn't understand the reasoning behind it, and they were puzzled. On the other hand, the great Tang country's lord, who was watching the battle in the void, had his eyes shrink as he stared at the blood knife in Kang Chon's hand with a look of dawning. Realization, a top-grade treasure weapon. This is a powerful treasure weapon that has been sealed. So that's how it is. He finally understood that the reason why Kang Chon only defended and did not attack was to use the power of the Li family's eldest elder to unseal the seal on top of the blood knife for him. At the beginning, when elder senior brother had given the blood knife to Kang Chon, he had arranged four layers of seals, causing this king grade treasure weapon to only be able to exert the power of a lower grade treasure weapon. After coming out from the spirit sealing space, Kang Chion had been promoted to the Yuan Ying stage, and with his great strength, the first layer of seals that he had unlocked, made it possible for this blood knife to exert the power of a medium-grade treasure artifact. However, the second layer of seal was difficult to undo. His strength was still almost there, yet this layer of seal, after he utilized the power of the Li family's eldest elder, was the one that finally shattered. As such, the blood knife that had reached the level of a top-grade treasure artifact finally released the terrifying killing aura hidden within it. That was the killing aura that had been accumulated by Elder Senior Brother as he had fought in the battlefield of the righteousness and the devil for nearly a thousand years, and the mere might was enough to shock the strongest people at the out-of-body stage. In an instant, the Lee family's supreme elder sensed the dreadfulness of this bloody blade. So his face changed drastically. Old Piker, in order to thank you for letting me unseal the blood knife, I will use you to bloodstain it today. Kang Chon raised a dazzling blood knife and laughed coldly. The might of a top-grade treasure artifact was extremely powerful, and after Kang Chon had infused it with true essence and additional will, the blood saber seemed to come to life, erupting with a sunlight radiance. Above the blade, a murderous aura shattered the void. That boundless killing aura dyed the sky red, causing blood light to fill the sky. And the surrounding sky and earth became a blood-colored world. Woo-woo. The blood knife made a sound, its body trembled, and an intimidating killing aura nearly materialized as it rushed out, killing the Lee family's supreme elder on the opposite side. Not good. The eyes of the Lee family's supreme elder shrank, he roared violently, exploding his body's thick true essence, which swept out from his body, forming a solid defensive shield. Thud. The killing aura spread across the entire sky, and the Lee family's supreme elder let out a muffled snort as blood spilled from the corner of his mouth. Even though he also possessed will, and it was stronger than Kang Chon's will, under the attack of this will, that contained an endless killing aura. His Yuan Ying suffered a violent and heavy blow, and his entire body shriveled for a while. 
The crowd watching the battle couldn't help but be appalled. Was this the power of a top-grade treasure weapon? It was simply too terrifying as well. Even Kang Chon didn't expect the blood knife to be so powerful. He was a little stunned. But seeing the Lee family's supreme elder suffer heavy injuries, he knew that the opportunity was rare. So his body asterisk 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 came out and killed the other party again. The terrifying blood knife cuts through the void, making space tremble. This kind of horrible might makes people scalp them. The Lee family's supreme elder is even more scared, where dare to receive it hard, can only keep dodging. In this way, the following crowd will see such a shocking scene. In the sky, Kang Chan held up the blood knife, constantly chopping the Lee family's supreme elder, while the Lee family's supreme elder dodged in all directions, in a sorry state.